Mm. Patches of night that is coming. That is very uh, unusual wording. Mm. That whole hadith is describing what? What was that hadith? What was it describing? Ahir Zaman and saying about who? Talking about who? Behavior of the people of the Ahir Zaman. Which people? Believers of Ahir Zaman. Correct? And saying what is going to come like patches of night? What is coming as patches of night? You remember? No one is remembering. Yes? To run to do good things before the confusion happens. Because when confusion happens, people are not running to do good things. They're not running to do good things and they are not forbidding what is wrong things, evil things, bad things. Is this what is happening? Yes. Before the fitna comes, like patches of night, it is daytime. When you get patches of night during the daytime, what state does it put you in? It puts you in a state of confusion. You don't know whether it is night or day. You don't know whether it is black or it is white. And these are the days, the Uliya are saying, where black is white and white is black. And if you are not following a shaykh, if you're not following the Uliya Allah, you're going to be fooled. Because these are the days that black is white and white is black. What we're doing now here, this is torture for the people of the dunya, majority of the people. Even the Muslims are going to look at us. Why are you wearing turbans like this? Uh, don't you know this is the most worst thing you can ever do in this time in this country? This is not Islam. They're going to say that. You are backward. You've got to be like us. We are forward. We are white. You are black. Everything is turned upside down. We're living in those days. What? Man and woman to marry? This is backward thinking. To have a family and to raise? This is backward thinking. We must be free. What is free? For them, freedom means freedom of the ego. For us, freedom means freedom of the spirit. For them, it means the ego can do anything it wants and get away with everything. There should not be any rules. For us, the spirit must free itself from this cage. But first, it has to understand that this is a cage. If you are living with your ego, you are not going to understand this is a cage. You are going to understand that this is a paradise. A believer will understand that this dunya is a cage, is a prison. Our senses, they are a prison. Our bodies, they are a prison. Our desires, they are a prison. They are not our friends that we should have allies with to support them. They are a prison. Who is saying this? Holy Prophet ﷺ. He is saying, for a believer, this world is a prison. For an unbeliever, this world is a paradise. The believer does not make, try to make this world into a paradise, never. The believer doesn't try to make this world to become a paradise, never. Which prophet is saying, make this world to become a paradise? No. The prophets are not even trying to bring perfection to this world. It is not, you are in enemy territory. You are here to escape and to pull yourselves out from your enemy territory 
especially in this Ahir Zaman, just like the Ashab al Kaf, the companions of the cave, and they were young people. They look in their city, they look in their country, they're saying, seeing everything that people are doing, it is against to Allah's laws, against to Allah's mercy, against to Allah's commands. They're not liking it. They didn't just stay. They're young ones. They're not old ones. That they are fed up or they can't do anything else, so now they're... No. They're young. And they say, we don't like this. We don't want to stay with them. We want to escape. And they came out from that. They went into a cave, seven of them, and their dog. Yeah. And they say, we'd rather be in this cave than to participate in those kinds of things. This era that we are in is worse than that. And if a dog were to escape from that world, and Allah is mentioning him in the Quran, Allah is mentioning that one. Kitnir. In some riwayat, his name is. Then what about us in the Ahir Zaman? I think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to be more merciful to a dog than to the insan that he has created. Definitely that one is better than us. So, to free ourselves from that state of confusion, to know what is white and what is black, that is marifat in these days. That is marifat. Don't look for any other thing. How are we going to know? Sit properly. How are we going to know? That time, you're not going to be able to trust your eyes so much. Too. You're not going to be able to trust your ears. Trust your tongue, trust any of your senses, because this world is expert at fooling all your senses. You think it's something, but it's something else. Correct or no? I have to explain more about this. Even if you're an unbeliever, you know this world we're living in right now has become so uh, unusual that you cannot trust your senses anymore. We have come to those times. If we are not learning how to trust our guide, then what are you going to trust? Your senses? You will fail. Shaykh Hindi, Shem of Lana Hazrat Ali is saying, yes, the time will soon come when the Shaykh is going to say, look at that wall. The wall is black. Everyone looks, it's white. What is white? You know it is white. Everybody knows, but the Shaykh, the guide says it's black. If you're not following, if you're not holding on tightly to what he is seeing and he's saying, you're going to fall into that darkness. Because nobody is seeing those patches of darkness, those patches of night, except for those ones who have vision. Who has vision? How many of people are having vision? How many scholars they're having vision how many leaders they're having vision how many sheikhs they're having vision what are you trying to do are you trying to pull people out from the darkness to bring them into light or are you just still talking about love as if this whole world is shining with light may Allah keep us in safety May we run to those ones, to our Shaykh, inshallah, so that we know what is that darkness outside and what is that darkness that is inside. And we run into their light. Hold on to that tightly, inshallah. We will find safety. Wa min Allahu tawfiq al Fatiha. Amen. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Any other questions? This much is enough. Wa min Allahu tawfiq al Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah.